Today, in a new touch design tutorial, we're going to create a moving painting. First, we're going to start creating a noise. And with the noise, we need to use the same size of the parent. The parent is this resolution, 1280 by 1280. So we go to common and we select output resolution will be parent panel size. So it's the same, it's the same uh, resolution, nice. This noise needs to be simple 4D, period will be three, harmonics will be five, spread, um, harmonic spread will be two, it's okay. And what else? The exponent will be one by uh, that one that six, and the amplitude will be zero that eighty five, and the offset is we change a very low, maybe to zero that two seven. And we need a very blurry, noisy visual. Then we go to transform and we animate this in here. And translate for D will be ABS time that seconds multiplied by zero that's zero one very slow number because we want to animate a little bit these like uh, things. I'm going to um, duplicate and paste this. Now we just I don't need to animate this in the translate for D so I don't need it. I want to animate this translate just in the set position, so I copy that. But I'm going to is ABS time that seconds multiplied by zero that I want. This noise is a little uh, different. The scale will be very no. This is a scale one. Sorry, my mistake. And the period will be three. The same. We're going to change the seat. Maybe that. The harmonics will be one. Harmonic spread maybe 20, very noisy thing. The harmonic gain will be very low number, 0 0.03. The exponent will be 0 0.5. Let me change that. And the amplitude is bigger, 1.25, something like that. So the idea is create that areas, black areas, and the opposite will be 0 0.45. So we have two different noises. And the idea is this, mix this together. Right now I'm going to use a composite. And we're going to use different uh, operation. Right now will be luminance difference. Luminance different. I'm going to create a null so you can see what I'm creating. We have that, this weird noise. This is the normal noise of the first one, and this is the second, and now we mix together. And the idea is add, add every time more details. So for that, I'm going to take the first noise, I'm going to connect it to an edge. This edge, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put this strength a lot, 10, sample step maybe more. Let me put maybe seven. Then to the edge, we're going to create a blur. To the blur, we can go to everything to the maximum. And after that, we're going to create, mix everything together. We create a composite, connect the blur. And if this would be negate or negate, I don't know how to say it in English, but we have that. Everything uh, together. After that, I'm going to add a display here. And I'm going to connect the same composite with the same display. We create that. Don't worry, we need to change a little bit. The display weight will be 0 0.1. Perfect. And the extent will be mirror. After this, we need to connect this to the comp, to the previous operator, and another composite. Don't worry. And then I'm going to copy the first noise. I want to draw it here. And this noise, this is the one that I'm going to change the scale. I don't need the translate. It's okay. And this scale will be, this is the slow number 0 0.01. Okay. Then we go into the noise parameters and we need to change the seed. I'm going to use the same that I use in my example, that is 2023. 
we need to disable the monochrome because we want color and we we have the period three okay this is uh, harmonics we need to want spread harmonics 20 0 that's 7 and we have everything okay so we have this blue color and i'm going to connect to this composite and this composite needs to be lumin luminance different and we need to change the position the order of this the noise needs to be over so now it's blue perfect and then we mix our displays with this composite using uh, another composite and we connect each other and we use a uh, difference and we have more colors why i use add color here is because yes I've, later we're going to add color but sometimes when you have something is black and white and you add color i don't like the i don't like the result that i i have but when you have something with color we have a here is yellow blue something green and you add more colors, you have a different palette or results that I prefer. So I'm going to show you. And we have the composite and I'm going to add another displays. Displays, no difference, displays. And this displays needs to be, again, very low number. This will be 0 0.05. Connect each other. And then the stand will be mirror. And I think in this, in the first displays, if I'm, yes, we need to change the UV weight. So I'm going to do it. So it's like we created like a zoom to this, something like that. Okay. I like it. The color is horrible, but don't worry. We need, we can change it. So uh, how we can change the color? We're going to use a ramp. And then we're going to use a lookup. So you're going to add it. So for the colors, you have options. Uh, there's, there is a lot, depending on the color that you liked. For me, I always try to move all of this uh, layer and try to see what is the best for me. I want maybe a purple. It's depend of the color that we have here is how we're going to, what color you use. It's like they react different way, in a different way. So. Maybe I'm going to use the same that I have in my example because I really like that color. Um, so this is the color 264.0.432 and then 0 0.809. And after that, we're going to use like a light orange color that will be here is 26, no 27. We're going to use the same. Then we have 0. 0, yes, zero the 2, zero then zero the 9, like a light orange color. And at the end, it's not white. We need like a yellow color, light color, maybe something like that. So we have these things. It's like we have uh, yellows, uh, by, uh, purple colors, orange sometimes. And obviously after the effect, we can change more things. So I'm going to add here a null. And with the null, I'm going to add Prezi to see, remember the color of this, this is a null, and going to connect our feedback. And the feedback is the effect that I, we learned, or I, yeah, I will learn in the last video about feedback techniques. We need the feedback, we need a keyboard in, we can press the plus, go to feedback, drag the keyboard in to the reset. We need to create the, the smoke effect. So I'm going to create a noise. The noise needs to be output noise, disable the monochrome, harmonics one, and change the amplitude to by two. Then we need the slope, slope. The slope needs to be strange four. Connect each other to a composite and the composite needs to be operation average. Connect to the feedback at this place. Connect to 
connect to this place to there. The displays, I'm going to just connect them, um, def change the number later, the level, so you can see what's going on. The level, then mix everything to a composite. Connect the level. To the level needs to be operation maximum. I'm going to put the lever level to the top here. And the feedback needs to the composite. Now everything is white, don't worry. The pulse uh, needs to be opacity. Uh, I'm going to write it 0 0.995, very sensitive thing. And the displays, we need to change the display weight. I'm going to go very low, slow number will be 0 0.01. Going to press one and you can see we are this is a color so you need to see this is the bright saturation color when you create the painting it's like a light color so you need to remember that so right now we are like painting areas like uh i don't know a sky something like that i like it um i'm going to add here uh hs be adjust because the color is too light and then a level. So the HST I'm going to add more saturation, much better. I like the colors. Now I can see orange here to the level. I'm going to add contrast, much better. And again, you can play around. Maybe I want a low gamma. What happens if we change the brightness? Okay. I like this. Hmm. I'm going to add an animation to this noise, to the feedback, will be in the transform, the set position will be ABS time, that seconds multiplied zero that one. So we add a more like painting growing effect. I want to add uh, two effects uh, that I like it a lot. The first one is this is tool that I create and you can have it uh, in my Patreon channel. So the grain and focus uh, that I call it focus. So the grain, the grain is like we add a texture. You can see it's like grain and the whole thing is move, moving. And the focus um, we add uh, here, you can control. It's like we can, we want to see just these areas or just Change a little bit. For me, it's like a detail. No focus this, but yeah, we uh, center the view in the center. We center the view in the center. Okay, we center the eye to the center. Okay, I think you got it. <laughs> okay, and what else we can do? Here we can add an edge. Because, yeah, this is work nice, but we can add a new layer just for details. And for the edge, we capture these things. So you can see it's a lot of information that are happening. Nice. So I'm going to add the edge, a level, because maybe I want to, it's too, in too much detail. So we can change the opacity there. Then a composite. Connect the level to the composite. The lever needs to be up. And we change to over. So right now, I can, I can show you. Go to opacity to the level to zero, zero, and we have just the image, but when we add a little bit, we add a new layer and we can see more the details around this like painting. I'm going to put it a little bit, not to full one. So yeah, I like it a lot. You can ask me, okay, but we add a lot of the displays, it's not necessary. I'm going to disable this displays. It's working too, but it's maybe it's okay. But when this one, you have more movement. What happened if I, I disable this first displays? This boring thing, nothing happened. We need to add details, movement to our uh, our noise to create these painting or organic things. You can always go to this noise and go to. Uh, change the seed and see maybe different palette of colors or just go to what's to the end this H HSB adjust and go change the hue offset maybe you can see different maybe this is nice too but I like these colors purple yellow orange 
mixing together. So yes, this is the effect. Um, the idea is use this uh, feedback effect. I'm going to put color so you remember. Um, maybe blue. So remember that maybe yellow, sorry. You remember well, this effect and how you can use it. This is a technique and you need to think this is just a noise. This is a noise with a two noises mixing together one time, two times, three times, four times. It's a lot of times, but it's like we need to add information. This is the, this is the image that we are processing this one. And after obviously the effect, all the, the things we create that painting. So yeah, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just send me a message on again, Discord, Patreon, YouTube, Instagram. I try to answer to all of you. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe. That helped me a lot to create more content. And I'm going to continue creating more about this series, about intermediate um, um, projects that we cover a lot of feedback, audio reactive, uh, particles, interactive things. So yeah. So see you in the next video. Bye.